What is going on? Everybody, this is Stryker, welcoming you to episode number 105 of my Minecraft Let's Play, guys. Now, I have done a ton of work off camera. Oh, and hopefully you like the music going on. It's, it's a little bit low, you know, just keeping it nice and quiet, nice and chill. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this is I had lag spike. I had looked for music to overlay on my Minecraft a long time ago, actually, and I started putting it over my co-op series and then also over the mini games that just came out, I believe, two days ago. So I do have music now playing. If you guys like it, let me know. If you guys hate it, let me know. But I think it's pretty great. It breaks up the... Uh, just the constant talking, I suppose. It also covers up some of the echo in the background, and also it gets rid of some of the fan noise that my computer makes. So, I left myself some signs to remember what I did. So, I repaired my armor. So, all of this was brand new, and then I ended up catching on fire due to lava. So, that's why some of it has taken some points of damage. I changed all windows to black, so all of those windows, all of these windows, I changed them all to black instead of the clear or the... I guess it's clear because there's white stained glass. So I changed those all to black. This makes them more, I don't know, more professional look in my opinion. I like the black windows. So I went with the black windows over here and everything like that. So I did that. And then also I did tons of work in the nether, about 12 hours of work. So yeah, guys, I was busy. I kept up on it. I made sure that I had everything done that I needed to do. So let's come over here to these signs. We've got name animals, make settlement, Horsey Barn, Finnish Brewery, Castle. Oh, I did some work in the brewery as well. Uh, nether Redesign, that is done. So I will take you there real quick. And we will just take a quick look at everything. And just putting all the signs up on my board. And we've got Sandcastle, Office. So yeah, we're actually getting a ton of work done. So let me show you the brewery. I'm going to name this place the Brewery Bar. Just because it's hard to say. <laughs> I like it. I don't know. So I moved the count counter. Wow. Mm. Move the counter out one and just put a second trap door here. There you go. Now it works. Uh, I also changed the cabinets, I believe. I put buttons on all of them. I have yeah, lighting behind the bar. I have all of the, the pieces, parts over there, and then I have all of the finished potions over here. I don't know why it's lagging so hard, guys, so just, just bear with me. I also put in a nice little lounging, like, seating area over here instead of it being that little water feature that I had going. I like the seating idea better. And it's also a one-way block, so if you've got people trying to come through, you have to be like, oh, sorry, excuse me, uh, excuse me. Oh, hey, you're pretty, you wanna go get a drink? And then you go get a drink, you know? They actually do this in real life bars, so yeah, that's, that's nifty. All right, and then I'm gonna take you guys into the nether, show you that real quick, and then we are going to try to get something fantastic on a pickaxe, guys. We are trying to get the Silk Touch enchantment. The reason for that is because of ender chests. Now, I want to get an ender chest. I've wanted to have an ender chest for a very long time, but I now have a ton of levels, and we can spend it all on pickaxes trying to get that. Okay, so I changed all the flooring in here, like I said. This hallway is completed. It goes all the way out to the villager area. Then we've got a secondary exit this way, so we can go out the back side of the main hub. And then we also have this pathway that was previously done. I also did the same thing on the other side with the portal. I made it a 3x3 three three. over on the other side where the village is. And I also changed this design, put in some stairs with some windows, add some depth in here, just so it's not the same brick walls. And I really like the way that stairs and iron bars work because they like, I don't know, they, they connect really well. Uh, some other blocks don't do it as well, so yeah. And then I changed this all to the nether stair, the nether brick stair and stuff instead of this material. Because I wanted to reserve these stone bricks for the walls. And guys, you remember that, that nether fortress that we found that's like right outside? Well, while I was digging here and making this hallway and completing this hallway and everything, I found that we actually could have just found it by digging into here. And this leads up into the bottom of it. So I have an access point into the fortress in case I ever want to go wither skeleton hunting. I'll just take down some torches or whatever will be, I suppose. So we'll have a little train stop there because we are going to make this a nether cart system from the portal, probably just like right here where this starts, all the way over to the villager portal, which is what I use to trade my zombie flesh for emeralds because I have that zombie XP farm. So that's what we use for that, and that's what I was doing 
off camera, and I apologize if there's a bunch of noise in the background, but people are now moving in, so doors are closing, doors are opening, people are walking by, and everything like that. So, we need the world to load, that's a starter, and then we also need to get some pickaxes, because, like I said, we are going for silk touch. Look at how crazy this world is. Alright, so, tools. Do I have any... This is already enchanted, that's my old fortune pick. Uh, I don't have any other pickaxes. So let's go ahead and grab a bunch of diamonds, a bunch of sticks, a bunch of lapis, and we will be on our way here attempting to get this silk touch. And the reason why we need a silk touch is because that is the only way you can pick up ender chests. Oh, I also changed the floor in here. <coughs> Goodness, I keep choking on myself. So I changed the floor in here. I dropped it down several blocks. I think it's 10 blocks down, 15 blocks down, something like that. I don't know. I think it's 10 blocks. So, yeah, I did that, and I changed it all to obsidian rather than stone. So anyways, the only way to pick up an ender chest would be with a silk touch pick. Otherwise, it just drops a, a bunch of obsidian, and you lose your eye of ender. So actually, while we're doing this, let me go grab the books, just in case those have better enchants, because we can always use books later. Where'd I put those books? All the way over here. All right. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to try to get this silk touch pick done, and then probably next episode we will be back on the horsey barn trying to get that completed, guys. That project has been sitting around for a little while, so it's definitely time to complete it. So I have two pickaxes, and I also have a book. So Unbreaking 3, you really can't judge anything off of that, so that's all that it is. What about this? Unbreaking 3, sure. Just Unbreaking 3 twice. That sucked. Depth Strider 2, no thank you. Alright, let's go ahead and make more pickaxes. That really sucks though, just unbreaking three, twice. Maybe we'll get like a weird silk touch pick and it'll just, I don't know. Oh, silk touch, boom, got it. I was gonna say, it won't have unbreaking on it. There you go. So now, the unbreaking actually is gonna help us. So we got two of those. Uh, one of them doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and go put that back. We can just hold it for later in case we ever have another pick. So we need unbreaking three up there. Forgot what these books were, I was just taking a look. All right, put the books back. Put these sticks back. Put the diamonds back. And the lapis back. Boom. And diamonds. And then the rotten flesh that I picked up right before I started recording. And now we can put those in there. That's six to do them that way. And eight to do them that way. So six levels. Silk so touch. Unbreaking three. We would really like to have efficiency on there as well. But fortune and silk touch cancel each other out. So I don't think you can actually do this. It's too expensive anyway. I would like to get efficiency on there just because, you know, it makes things more efficient. But for the time being, that'll be fine. So what do we need? We need a hostile mob drop. We need, actually, we need both of those. So we can make this spider eye row a whole spider eye row. We also need our obsidian, which we are now running low on, oddly enough. Out of all things to run low on is obsidian because I used it for this and also all of the flooring in there. Or rather, the... I guess that is the flooring. We can call it the flooring. And then we also need to blaze powder. So let's go ahead and take these back over to our crafting bench over in our storage room. Actually, before we do that, let's go take a nap. And then we will go do it. And then, I was thinking about names for my animals. So I think I might name them. I have name tags for them. Nobody left me any comments with name suggestions, so I'm just gonna go off of what I'm feeling, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, come on. It is nighttime. Look at it. It is nighttime. Thank you. Alright. Moving on. Any day now. There we go. So let's go ahead and make these ender chests first, and I will finalize the names in my head, potentially. Let's go ahead and do that. We are going to take a look at our animals just to see if they have, like, a personality trait with them. Okay, so anyways, you need ender balls, you need blaze powder, eye of ender. And then you need eye of ender, obsidian, and ender chests. Boom. I learned that you can triple click. It took me how many years to figure that out? So, I don't really have a great place to put this, but since we have the silk touch pick, we can just put it right there in the middle. And then the other one, we're just going to keep in our inventory on us in case we ever have anything we want to store away. So, yes, an ender chest, if you're not very familiar with it. One torch. I can't put it in my inventory. One freaking torch. So anyways, an ender chest allows you to have a chest full of storage 
that you don't have to carry on you, so you can link ender chests. If I put this down, put stuff in it, it'll show up in all of my ender chests, and then you can just pick it up with a silk touch. Otherwise, it'll just give you back the obsidian, and we don't have any ender eyeballs or ender, ender pearls, that's what they're called, to try to rebuild that. So that way we can go caving and not have to worry about crunching on storage too bad, just put down the ender chest, throw in all the redstone and gold or whatever, and that's that. So we're gonna go take a look at our horse here, Real quick, this will be a nice little segue into the next business. I made some fence in between the last couple of episodes because I know I'm going to need a ton of fence for this area over here, and we've got tons of work to do, so we'll be doing that. So our horse is all black. Or is he the spotted one? I think he's spotted. Come here. Nope. Actually, I wanted to do this. Is he spotted? Yeah, he's spotted. What are we going to name him? We're gonna name him. Oh, I got a good. I got a good one. Let's go grab that name tag and name our horse, guys. So, a lot of horses have really weird names, just because that's how horse things are done. I don't know if you guys watch horse racing. Maybe you can give me a little bit of insight into that. I'm not really sure why, but yeah. So we've got two name tags, which is perfect. I forgot I even have these. Wish I wouldn't have made those so I could have some sticky pistons. Uh, anyways, so name tag. We're going to rename it. We're gonna name him. Sprinkles. It's gonna be our horse, Sprinkles. So let's go ahead and name our horse Sprinkles. And then we've got our all-white pooch. Now, I did have a name in my very, very old Let's Play world. No, it wasn't my Let's Play. It's my Let's Learn Minecraft world, where I was just kind of going back through and figuring out. So now our horse is named Sprinkles. Yes! All right, so anyways, the dog that I had way long ago, back when I was learning how to play Minecraft, actually ended up getting killed in a freak accident. Um, I'm not really sure how it happened, but it died right before I could put it out. It caught on fire somehow. I don't really remember all of the details on it. Hold on, animal related, there we go. So we are going to name my dog in this series after my long ago dog that had passed away. And it's Sammy. Actually, it's a girl dog. It's Sammy. Boom. And there's the anvil, guys. That's exactly why Santa brought us... Where'd it go? It's over here. It's exactly why Santa brought us another anvil, guys. So thank you so much, Santa. We have a new anvil. Like I said, I knew it was coming pretty close to getting destroyed. And you are now Sammy. Hey, we named our animals. So let's go ahead and take that off the checklist. So where's that at? It's over on the top, right? Name animals. Done. Boom. And I've got tons of plans for this making the settlement pretty. Don't worry, guys. A lot of a lot of good plans are coming on that one. So sandcastle, office mega build, castle, all of those are big, big things that will take a lot of time. So that's probably not coming up here in the near future. We gotta continue to furnish the library and brewery. We've got the horsey barn and making settlement pretty, and I'm sure I can come up with plenty of other things to put on that checklist, guys. So yeah, we're gonna be out here with the Horsey Barn next episode, attempting to finish the roof, or at least start on the roof. It'll probably be two episodes of roof type deal, and then another episode of making this area out here, guys. So I'm gonna end the episode standing on the crossbeam of the Horsey Barn. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.